Throughout World War II, there was a lot of terror inside occupied lands and cities. People would go about their daily lives and see the bodies of their loved ones and neighbours, strung up from lampposts and balconies, with these people accused of being suspected resistors. The Germans, when they entered Poland and other lands, embarked on a campaign of horror, and this struck fear into the hearts of millions of people. Everyone was put to the sword. Many were dragged away from their homes to be deported to work as slave labourers. Others were sent to concentration camps, being ripped away from their loved ones, and some were even marched to the edge of settlements and were ruthlessly shot by execution squads, known as the Einsatzgruppen. At the end of the conflict, many people worried greatly about what their lives would look like, in the days and months following, and millions of people had nowhere to go, as their homes had been destroyed. Inside of the Pacific, as the war began to turn against the Japanese forces, a number of civilians and soldiers took drastic steps to avoid capture, and they went with this out to the Banzai Cliff in Saipan, and then jumped off the top. But what is the horrific story of the Banzai Cliff? To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The Battle of Saipan took place between the 15th of June and the 9th of July 1944, and it resulted in an American victory against the Japanese. The next part of the US plan for the Pacific at the time was to break through the defensive perimeter in the Mariana Islands, and then for the US Air Force to deploy their state-of-the-art B-29 Superfortress bombers to attack the Japanese homeland. The landings began on the 15th of June, and days later army divisions arrived and the Japanese forces tried to dig in and defend with their almost 30,000 troops. On the beachheads were different defences which led to casualties being inflicted upon the marines that did land. The Japanese believed that they would win the battle on the beachhead, however they were pushed back despite fighting savagely, and they held out with whatever they could. As the days passed, the Japanese were pushed back to a small area to the north of Saipan, and the Japanese knew that defeat was on the horizon. Of course, inside of the Japanese armed forces, there was a belief that surrender and giving yourself over to the enemy was a disgrace, and this led to some committing acts of seppuku to avoid capture. Banzai Cliff is found along the northern part of Saipan, and is also known as Marpi Point. Today it may look like a beautiful and breathtaking cliff face, but during the Second World War it was a harrowing place of death. Close to the Banzai Cliff is the last command post of the Japanese, and also a cliffside cave that served as a bunker during the battle, and there are also Japanese cannons found nearby. There is also a jail where a number of prisoners of war were locked up, but the cliff became a place where many Japanese soldiers and civilians plunged to their deaths. The place is known as Banzai Cliff because Japanese civilians and soldiers would shout Banzai as they plunged off the top of the cliff to the ocean and rocks below. They jumped over the cliff due to the fear they had about being captured by the Americans, and they saw it as a more honourable thing to do, in the eyes of the Emperor, than fall into enemy hands and end up as a prisoner of war inside of a camp. It wasn't just one or two people who went over the top of Banzai Cliff, it was hundreds, maybe thousands. Women jumped along with their children and screamed Banzai, and there are claims that thousands of people leapt off the 600 foot drop to their deaths below in the sea. There were even accounts of mothers pushing their own children over the cliffs to avoid them falling into the hands of the Americans. By screaming Banzai, the Japanese victims believed that they would be wishing 10,000 years of life upon the Emperor, and in Japanese culture, it is known as a longevity cliff. There is also another point nearby where this sort of desperate action took place, but some who jumped did survive. It was not often, but there are accounts of some people being captured by American ships stationed nearby, having jumped off the Banzai Cliff. An inscription near to the cliff carries the poignant words of a Japanese reverend, and it says, Better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. By jumping off the cliff, the Japanese civilians and soldiers believed that the best way out was to scream Banzai and to not fall into the enemy hands, which they believed was a complete darkness. Propaganda and rumour which had reached the Japanese had led them to believe that being captured by the enemy meant execution and incredible shame heaped upon their own family. Some fathers even shockingly murdered their own children before throwing them into the sea in the chaos and fear, believing they were in fact sparing them. Those who leapt believed that they would see their children and loved ones again in the afterlife. Some also climbed down from the cliffs to 
and walked into the sea drowning themselves, and there were also accounts of groups of civilians gathering together, and then one person in a circle pulling the pin out of a grenade given to them by a Japanese soldier, and you can probably imagine what happened next. On Saipan, during the battle, this was not the only account of people facing their instant death. The Japanese general, Yoshisugu Saito, ordered that all Japanese soldiers on the island were to gather and die in the honour of the emperor, and they would do this in the form of a banzai charge, one last roll of the dice, in front of the American soldiers. This was the largest banzai charge of the war, and 4,000 Japanese soldiers, many of whom had little weaponry, and who were just carrying sharpened bamboo spears, ran towards the enemy. They had little ammunition or hope, and many had suffered significant injury, and the wounded came towards the end of the charge, hobbling towards the Americans who shot and killed most of them. This huge banzai charge resulted in a battle that lasted 15 hours, and most of the Japanese soldiers were killed in the costly ritualistic massacre. However, they did manage to inflict death and injury upon roughly 650 American soldiers. This took place two days before the Americans announced that Saipan was in their hands. General Saito and other high-ranking members of the Japanese army on the island hid out in a cave and committed seppuku by sword, concealed, and their remains would later be found. The Banzai Cliffs of Saipan were a horrific part of the Second World War in the Pacific, which are not the most well known about. The Emperor of Japan, Hirohito, had himself ordered his population to embark in this sort of activity and death, rather than to fall into the hands of the Americans, and the propaganda perpetuated by his government and officials led to this fear gripping the nation. The American forces, when they took Saipan, often ordered Japanese civilians to try and appeal to those in the region to assure them that the Americans would treat them well if they did surrender, and the Americans promised to give them food, shelter and safety. But some could just not trust this, and they still went to the cliffs and to the north to take their lives. This sort of behaviour was of course not exclusive to the Japanese, as in Europe there were many people inside of the Third Reich and Germany, and also in occupied lands, who could not imagine life without Hitler as a Führer leading them. This led to a number of deaths in the face of the advancing Soviet Red Army and the Western Allies, who discovered many high-ranking local officials who had taken this course of action. But the Banzai Cliff today is a picturesque and beautiful spot in Saipan, but 80 years ago it was a very different story, and it was a place of pure desperation, which led to hundreds of people plunging 600 feet to their deaths, not wanting to fall into the hands of the Americans, who would soon launch devastating bombing raids on Japanese cities. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.